Thank you. I welcome members to the 18th meeting in 2014 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee and ask members to switch off any mobile phones as usual, please. We have apologies from John Scott and also from Richard Baker and I welcome in his place Mary Fee. Agenda item one is a decision on taking business in private. It's proposed the committee takes items five and six in private. Item five is consideration of a draft of the committee's fourth quarterly report. And item six allows us to consider our approach to the Legal Writings, Counterparts and Delivery Scotland Bill. Does the committee agree to take those items in private, please? Agreed. Thank you. Agenda item two is instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the HGV speed limit M9A9 trunk road regulations 2014 draft, nor on the proceeds of Crime Act 2002 amendment of Schedule 4 Scotland Order 2014 draft nor on the Land Register of Scotland, Rate of Interest on Compensation Regulations 2014 draft, nor the Registers of Scotland, Information and Access Order 2014 draft, the Registration of Social Workers and Social Service Workers in Care Services Scotland Amendment Regulations 2014 draft, the National Confidential Forum, Prescribed Care and Health Services Scotland Order 2014 draft, nor on the Provision of Early Learning and Child Care Specified Children Scotland Order 2014 draft. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Yes. Okay. Agenda item three is instruments subject to negative procedure. The adults with incapacity, supervision of welfare guardians, etc., by local authorities, Scotland Amendment Regulations 2014, SSI 2014, 1, 2, 3. Regulation 5 inserts new Regulation 2A5 in the Adults with Incapacity, Supervision of Welfare Guardians, etc. by Local Authorities, Scotland Regulations 2002. The cross-reference in Regulation 2A5A to Regulation 21B of the 2002 Regulations is erroneous as it is too specific. It creates uncertainty regarding whether the effect is to permit a variation of visits to intervals of not more than 12 months in respect of both the adult subject to a guardianship order and the welfare guardian, or only in respect of the adult. The policy intention is to allow such a variation in respect of visits to both the welfare guardian and the adult. Does the committee therefore agree to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament's under reporting ground H, as the meaning of the text inserted by Regulation 5 could be clearer? Okay. Does the committee also agree to note the Scottish Government has undertaken to bring forward an amending instrument to correct this error? Okay. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the regulation of care social work sorry, social service workers Scotland Amendment Order twenty fourteen, SSI twenty fourteen one two nine, nor on the Title Conditions Scotland Act two thousand and three Rural Housing Bodies Amendment Order two thousand and fourteen SSI two thousand and fourteen one three zero nor on the Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014 and Ciliary Provision Order 2014, SSA 2014, 132. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Thank you. Agenda item four, instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the Plant Health Forestry Phytothora Ramorum Management Zone, Scotland, Order 2014, SSI 2014-122, nor on the Land Registration etc. Scotland Act 2012, Designated Day Order 2014, SSI 2014-127. Is the committee content with these instruments, please? Thank you. Now that completes Agenda Item 4, and I move the meeting into private.